Good day everyone! I am here to present to you my research entitled An Assessment of ICT Competency Level of Grade 10 Students in Talon National High School Basis for ICT Skills Enhancement Program. I am yours truly, Sir Paolo Christopher Arbora from Talon National High School, DepEd Cavite Province. According to Alokalukhi in 2007, Information and communications technology refers to various technologies that are applied in the process of collecting, storing, editing, retrieving, and transferring information in various forms. According to CAN 2015, ICT has been touted as a potentially powerful tool that can be used by anyone. So therefore, we teachers should utilize ICT or computer laboratories for beneficial activities. In addition, it helps us to have a student-centered learning. According to UNESCO, ICT can contribute to equity and universal access to education, delivery of quality teaching and learning, teachers' professional development, efficient education management, and governance and administration. The Department of Education is doing its massive efforts to improve the technological and digital literacy rates of the students by integrating ICT in the curriculum and in all subject areas. Director Abanil, the Director of ICTS in the Department of Education, assures to have an adequate number of computers for students and will provide internet connections in all schools nationwide in partnership with the Department of Information and Communications Technology. This study would like to answer the following research questions. Number one, what is the demographic profile of the student respondents in terms of technology resources and access to the internet? Number two, what is the ICT competency level of the student respondents in terms of one, basic computer operation system, two, basic computer software operation, and three, knowledge and skills in using the internet. And for number three, what ICT skills enhancement programs can be proposed to develop the competency level of the student respondents? My scope and limitation, the respondents are all grade 10 students of the Law National High School for school year 2019 and 2020, resource constraints including the time and pool access of information. The researcher gathered data through the use of survey questionnaire which were adapted with the following researches. An assessment of ICT competencies of public school teachers, basis for community extension program, and a survey of ICT competencies among students in teacher preparation program at the University of Benin, Benin City. A three-section survey questionnaire were used. Section 1 deals on the profile of the student respondents. Section 2 focuses on ICT skills competency level of the student respondents. And Section 3 focuses on the skills enhancement program that will help to develop the competency level of the students. And I use the proposed sampling technique or the total population sampling where all grade 10 students are included as my respondents. As you can see in table number 1, research population, I have 59 students as a total number of my respondents. Data was tallied by employing SPSS software in the presentation, analysis, and interpretation of the findings. Descriptive statistics, mainly frequency count, percentages, and mean were used. In my results and discussion, as you can see in Figure 1, technology resources of the student respondents, majority of the students are using their smartphone, which is 51%, laptop or netbook, which is 20%, tablet or iPad, which is 17%, desktop computer, which is 12%. For Figure number 2, Internet access of the student respondents, Majority of them are using their mobile data for internet subscription, which is 42%, followed by they have internet access at home, 29%, don't have internet access, 19%, and they rent internet cafe, 10%. And as you can see in table number 2, ICT competency level of the student respondents, most of them have a basic knowledge in competency number 5, demonstrate knowledge and skills in using spreadsheet. However, they have an overall mean of 2.8977 and considered to be proficient in ICT 
kompetensi. In terms of ICT skills enhancement of programs and activities, majority of them said they want to integrate ICT activities in classroom discussions, conduct formal ICT trainings in schools, and include or have a separate subject in the curriculum of the students. In conclusion and recommendations, the outcome of this study evidently revealed that grade 10 students in Talon National High School have proficient level of knowledge in basic ICT skills. However, this is still not safe to include that students are already competent in ICT. Students need to be competent and literate in knowing when to use a specific software in relation to their studies. And before I end my presentation, I would like to quote our Deputy Secretary Briones. According to her, the challenge for us now is to go beyond the robots that we are building. We need to build robots which will make life easier will make our homes more livable, and will eliminate the opportunities for corruption in government. However, for me as a teacher, how can we make robots if there are still some students who are incompetent? That is why I conducted this research titled An Assessment of ICT Competency Level of Grade 10 Students in Talon National High School Basis for ICT Skills Enhancement Program. I am Paulo Cris Borja from Talon National High School, Debed Cavite Province. Thank you.